In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the teacher tools and helpful uh, research and other tools that are available that will help your you and your students be more productive when you're creating Google slide presentations. The first thing I'm going to show you about is the research feature. So if you go under tools, there is something called research. Now, first of all, spelling is like your spell check. If you click on that, it will give you any spelling suggestions that it has to this point. Um, so if I go under tools and then click on research, it's going to bring up a search bar right here on the side of my presentation. So I can click in here and choose to search Google for images, videos, scholar quotes, dictionary tables, or I can choose everything. I typically go with everything. So let's say that um, I'm a student working on a project about Abraham Lincoln. So if I type in Abe Lincoln here on the search bar, it's going to pull up a ton of different web resources. Now there are some really cool features to this. First of all, if I see an image that I like, I can simply click on it and drag it into my presentation and add it just like that. And then of course I can maneuver it around however I'd like. Um, another thing that's really cool is um, I can preview websites. So when you hover over it, it says preview or insert link. If I click preview, it's going to bring up um, the an image of what that website looks like. If I want to go to the website, I sim simply click on it. It opens it up in a new window. I can look through it, copy and paste anything off of it that I might want, um, that kind of thing. Close that out and I'm back in my Google Slides. Now if I wanted to insert this link, I would simply click insert link and it automatically brings it over, whoops, brings it over into my presentation. So I'm going to close the preview window and here's the link. So it automatically hyperlinks the words of the, the title or the name of the website. This can be very helpful for students as they're um, researching and you know trying to search the web and work on their slideshow at the same time. The next feature also under tools is the define feature. So if you click on that, it brings up the dictionary and you can search any um, word here that you'd like and it's going to bring up you know the definition, the um, type uh, part of speech, synonyms, antonyms, all those kinds of things. So it's really easy for the students as well. Um, also under tools there's preferences. I personally have never messed with the preferences at all but um, you could definitely come in here and, and change some of these things if you'd like. And lastly under tools is the personal dictionary and this is kind of cool because um, you can add your own words to it. So you see I have added some of my students names over the time. Um, because you know Google doesn't recognize them as words so they're going to constantly be underlined with that red squiggly but if you add them to your personal dictionary then they will recognize it so that's a nice feature. Um, the other thing that you can do in Google Slides just like all the other Google tools is you can insert comments so if let's say your students were working on this project you could pop in um, take a look at it and insert some comments for them while they're working or once they've submitted it then you could um, you know, give them comments and feedback based on their final work. So all you do for that is go to insert and down to comment and that's going to bring up the little comment bar. Um, so you could say, you know, uh, this image really enhances your project or, you know, um, provide more text on this slide or you know any kind of feedback that you had to give to them and then press comment and it's going to be here for them um, either instantaneously if they're already logged in or the next time that they come into the presentation. Um, up next I'm going to show you uh, some of the tools for presenting a Google slide so your options as far as presenting, publishing, and even using Google slides on mobile devices.